Hello, all you YouTubers out there. I am tired. It's been another day. I'm in bed with this whole thing. And welcome to the channel. It's your boy Jaguar Raves. Okay. Comment down below to see so I know what your thoughts are about this whole thing. But I just got it out. I gotta just put it out there. If I yawn, I apologize. It's just night time and my body's shutting down after a long day's work at like what I seem to say is hard work on the computer. Meaning not gaming, even though I have a gaming chair, but it is simply with making music. But let me tell you something. Getting signed, okay, it is hard work because you think it's easy oh it's not easy you gotta do so much like i just turned 25 obviously but thing is i remember my first ever track that i did like 2018 or something and that's not too far away and apparently it takes like the average person 10 years and over before they get ever signed to a record label or anything like that because they gotta make sure okay this guy knows what he's doing or sh she knows what she's doing it's it's just that simple but because it may seem that i don't really have like that much in and plus i've been taking long breaks in between because my laptop at the time was totally garbage it was the worst kind even though he said oh yeah it, it, it should work it should work it didn't work okay it only lasted like two and a half years i say and that was that it can put it literally froze and it was the worst it shut down every time after a while and it it did, didn't go well but i have to say uh, for lights out and etc. I might, just saying, might delete this song that I recently did on YouTube called Unholy. Because, I don't know, I, as much as I don't like sending constant demos to labels such as Lithuania HQ because I have a hard time with that, I mean... Every single time, it's like either an update or an improvement. I don't know, but it's something. And while it's something, they're saying, oh, this guy's improving every single time. Because, you know, with things, because you got to do things where it's just like, okay, set the stretch point. And I thought to make it fit right into the bars is just like typing in the exact tempo the bpm beats per minute that's shown up when you're making music to fit the tempo and stuff to be like it says let's say 126 when let's say a loop is oh i don't know 120 and then you do 126 instead of 120 which i just recently found out it doesn't fit it doesn't work but if you do exactly what the loop does which I found out earlier, uh, is that it fits right exactly in the bars. And so I did that with the vocals and everything in it. But I don't know. I go to, you know, my mom because she's been like in music theory and she says like, oh, well, you know, the the vocals, they they are a little bit too fast and stuff. Well, I try to explain that, you know, I stretch it perfectly. So if I go up tempo or down tempo, it's it fits either slow or fast. But then the other day when it was 105 before 126, and even though the original Unholy is at 131, I ended up trying it 105 or so and it was slow the vocals were so so she said uh the the vocals are so close but they don't match they're a little bit too behind or too forward 
And so I've speed it up to 126 and I left it there. Okay. And after a while I thought, oh, this, this is right. This, this is actually pretty good. And then I just realized that when I uploaded it today or tonight, what have you, I noticed that it's just tapping, 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 the tapping BPM, because you could also left click and do the tap mode. And I don't know, it's just, it kind of works for me. I don't know, it's still kind of new. I don't even know how it works, but you're tapping on it, tapping on it, tapping on it, and seeing which fits the right pits for the whole sample, which is the thing that I just put a lot of work in. And then it's just like, it says estimated 113, but it's 126. So does that mean that I have to delete all my sources for that track and put it down to 100, put it up or down to 113 and that will be it and then it will be perfectly fine? I don't know, I don't know. But this is the part where you think you got it all done, but it's just not enough. It's never enough and you're thinking and you're panicking, oh no, is it actually good? Is it actually good? Because if it's not good, then it's just like, oh, what have I done? What have I done? And you're thinking to yourself, oh, the record label hates me because I've sent them too many demos and etc. And it's just too much. Which, honestly, that's me right now. That's me. And it sucks. And it just is a painful experience. And yeah. But in any case... I hope to improve more, but it's just, all I'm saying, it's hard. It's hard to be on a record label, and even just turning 25 now, uh, I'm still watching YouTube videos. Oh my goodness, this sucks. But it's just life, I guess. Life can find a way once you start being professional. Oh, man, that professional standpoint. By the way, The Unholy, you would not imagine, you can't imagine how many times I have did chords and chords and chords and deleted them, deleted them, deleted them, and then did mistakes where it's just like Alt-Q or Alt-A, and it's kind of a bouncy, but it's too bouncy that it's clicky and all this stuff. It was just a nightmare, okay? But then I had to delete it all, and it kept on not matching with the bars, so I had to do it line, and none, and line, and it was just crazy. And then finally, I figured, okay, do this, and then it finally fits. It finally works, and then did Alt A and whatever. And so that's what the result is. And then I did pitch, because obviously with ear candy, that's also what I had to look up. And I learned a couple tricks from ear candy. But man, alive, it's just crazy, I say. Crazy of how many things you gotta do in order to succeed. But man, alive, I tell you, it doesn't get any better than this. Well, I better, I, I have to say it does. But in the meantime, I'm just saying, I gotta still do so much work, probably. I really feel the need that this unholy track i i just can't get my mind off it i think it needs more work but then i also think that it doesn't need more work i don't know what to believe but if you could comment down below to see so i know what your thoughts are because i i always wonder what you're thinking with my tracks if they're ever good or if they need more work or whatever just feel free to let me know down below and if you made it this far in the video say I've made it down below in the comments and that will be lovely and anyways this has been your boy Jaguar Raves just sharing some thoughts and opinions and curiosity thoughts and whatever it's called but anyways if you like this video leave a like and if you're new to the channel, subscribe uh, so you get some more interesting music stuff or whatever. Whenever I finish a track, I upload it to YouTube. 
and etc. But anyways, this has been enough uh, said. So this has been your boy, once again, Jaguar Raves. And I will see all you wonderful people in the next one. Till then, take care, peace, and goodbye for now.